Hi guys, welcome to Root Stem. And in today's video, we're gonna be painting up with an airbrush um, some of these downed Titans that we got off eBay. So a little story for you as we start the uh, painting video. Basically a friend of mine, uh, John, um, actually he's been on my channel a couple of times. He discovered these downed Titans, which, uh, well, they were, I think whoever, whoever's done them has done them in, uh, it's, it's definitely 3D printed. You can kind of tell that they are 3D printed. Um, they've definitely got the lines on there from being 3D printed. But basically, um, he's got hold of uh, hold of these off eBay. There's three different designs. He got two sets because they're not actually that expensive, and uh, they must have been cast from proper um, models that somebody has actually created, or maybe even done that way. And we're going to be painting them up. Now we're going to be painting them up in a couple of different colours. We're going to be using some metallic colour from Green Stuff World, and we're also going to be using some contrast paint, fired of course through the airbrush we don't want to be spending a lot of time brushing these the yeah, terrain pieces after all let's get them out let's get them done quick okay so we're going to prep these particular models we're going to prep them with um of course i've been sprayed chaos black and we're going to prep them with the mystic white from green stuff world and what i'm going to be doing is mainly concentrating around of course the raised edges we're going to be doing the Face plates, anything that's going to be a coloured armour piece. The rest of, actually no, in fact, yeah, do everything. Um, so we're just basically doing an edge, we're trying to... So that's what you're after. And just keep coming back, uh, you can do, because I've got two here, so I'm going to be doing both. But if you just do other areas, So, next up, you want to use some of the blue tack, uh, or of course any form of modeling putty, and just protect some of the areas you don't really want to be covered in this particular paint. So, that one we're going to come to in a minute. And this one, we're going to use contrast. We're going to use Nas Nasdrag Yellow, and we're going to put it through our airbrush. Now the reason we're going to put it through our airbrush is it's going to create a lovely metallic effect. If you saw me do this on the Necromunda painting video, um, you'll know kind of the effect that we're actually going for here. So, we've got our metallic yellow. Now, we're going to be doing this one. Now, this one's going to be more of a chaos one. I found a colour scheme online that actually had some form of 80s pattern, which is green and then a red on the helmet. And a little bit of red on the weapon, actually, but uh, I might I might do that, I might not. Um, just mainly on the casing, but it's a red helmet and it's going to be a green body. So, for this, we're going to be using Orc Flesh to start with. And again, shimming that through the airbrush. So next up, we're doing some dry brushing. I've just done that one to test it. Uh, I'm not going to actually go in with the silver because there's no real need. These are terrain pieces after all, so um, the quicker I can get them out there. 
quicker it is for everyone else. Playing the game anyway, because I'll not do it. <laughs> so, neck on compound, dry brush, I've got a large dry brush. So, I've loaded up some Rhinoxide Slash Scorch Brown in this because it's the same paint, it's just I've managed to get hold of an older pot, um, which I tend to use for sort of like terrain and such. So, we're going to just spray as best we can into quite close and So the next colour I'm using is, um, it's called Scrap Brown, but I did show a Bestial Brown, which is what I'm currently dragging my uh, paint from, simply because it's, an, again, it's an older pot. Uh, a friend of mine gave me loads of old paint that he was never going to use. So what we're going to do is just create the edges of a highlight with this. Uh, so we're not going to go into the deep base yet, so we're just... So I'm just now getting a little bit of dawn stuff. And we're just going to pick out what it looks like the bricks. Now I don't really want to go too heavy on this. I just want to kind of pick out what looks like it. I mean that looks like it might have been a bit of panelling, but you can always make it out to be a brick. Okay, once that base has been dry, we made sure that we're using gloves because of course this paint can come off, it's airbrushed on, if you haven't just applied it then don't bother. Um, but we've got some transfers on here, I've actually put some mecha varnish over the top of the transfers to seal them in. I'm not doing all the fancy stuff with the transfers, oh no, looks like that's been knocked. Uh, I'm not doing all the fancy stuff with the transfers, we are just doing the basics and then next uh, we're going to be doing this colour here. This is Scale Colour Matte Flat Black. Now, this will look like a normal black. Just put a bit down for you, you'll be able to see it. So, as you can see there, it looks nice. Oh, no, you can't see that. God damn it. <laughs> put it there. A little splodge. It's a normal black. It looks like a normal black. That is until it dries. Once it dries, it looks very matte and very chalky. Now, what I mean by that is it looks a little bit like, like a very flat or sooty sort of black. This is perfect for me when you're doing tyres, and it's going to be perfect for the next stage of what we're going to be doing here. So using the scale colour, we're going to be putting some... So we've got it here. Fix the exhaust. in a second and we're not just doing events we're also going to be doing the impact points of the weapons as well so one of the finishing touches we're going to be doing is some storm or silver into the eye slot and once that's dry we're going to then be putting in um it's the blue color i'll grab it not soul gem <laughs> It should pop up on screen in a moment. Um, we're going to be just putting that contrast paint into the eye socket uh, and that will actually finish off this model. Uh, make sure that you give it a good varnish. Possibly do it a little bit more than you would normally simply because when you are... Uh, when you, This is going to be a piece that you're going to be playing with so it's going to need to have more durability. And some of your others. Now, the reason I'm using storm is because I'm wanting a nice range. I'm wanting it to look quite bright. So once that's dried, get that blow in, 
and uh, varnish them up. And buff, kind of done. I varnished them, and they will be great on the battlefield. They didn't take too long to paint up, and they're not going to take too long to be able to play with. Play with, <laughs> they're just going to put them on the battlefield. Um, we're going to be able to hide some knights, probably, maybe a single knight or two. Not really going to be able to do much else if I'm completely honest, but they will look good, maybe even as objectives on your games of Adeptus Titanicus. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to see more. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, click on the link at the beginning of this video for uh, some t shirts. I'll see if I can get some new designs done eventually. Um, it will be quite nice to actually get some new ones out there. And I uh, hope you all guys are staying safe. I'm actually recording this during the coronavirus. Uh, we'll probably won't be coming out for a couple of weeks though. Um, so hopefully everything's done by this point. If not, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.